this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts back with part four of my Hemet trailer build. Uh, you can see what's going to happen in this episode. Uh, I've got a lot done here. I'm excited about what's happening. I'm anxious to show you how this all went together. Um, also, you can see my new workbench top and my new mat that look really nice. I'm uh, trying to keep my production up a little bit. So anyway, uh, let's get started. Okay, as I get started on part four of this trailer, a couple things I want to uh, show to start with. First, I hope this shows up. Uh, one of my viewers sent me a link to a 311 page manual on the M870A1 trailer, which is just awesome because it's got all kinds of good drawings and technical information on the trailer. Uh, I really appreciate that. I'm going to add the link in the description if anybody else wants to look at it. But this is the exact trailer I'm building. Uh, really good details on the gooseneck. Uh, lots of drawings. Even uh, how they load the trailer up onto the truck using the winch. Um, really neat stuff. Only the military could do a 311 page manual on a trailer. So thanks for sending me that. The second thing I want to show is this plastic model that I built of the trailer. Uh, and that's where I got the drawings from. Uh, it's, it's really nice to have this detail. Uh, one viewer asked me about the width. Why am I going with the wider width? These little brackets here actually are designed so they fold up and these two extra sideboards come out so the trailer will be 8 foot 6 inches wide for legal highway use in the US. And then they only use these uh, extended boards when carrying real wide loads. Well, I plan to carry real wide loads, so uh, and I, I wasn't about to try to make these movable. Um, so that's why I'm going to go with the wider trailer. And then I want to show real quickly what I'm going to be building in this series. Pull my little pin out here. Uh, is this operating neck. Okay, on this trailer, put this back, uh, they don't load it over the, the back end, they load it over the front end, so they drop the trailer off and drop the neck down and drive the equipment uh, up the gooseneck, and then they actually hook a winch cable to the winch on the Hemet and winch the trailer up onto the vehicle. I will probably add a servo to make this servo operated just because I think that would look really cool. Um, so today I'm going to work on this scissor mechanism and this bracket down underneath here on my big trailer. So there's just a couple little explanations. Also you can see I got a new work mat. I surfaced my my whole workbench with a piece of Formica to kind of hopefully brighten things up. So. Anyway, we'll get to work on the trailer. What I'm going to do now is take a piece of this Tamiya aluminum and cut a piece that fits up underneath here and sticks out the front so I can, so I can make my, my brackets that, that hinge the trailer. So I'm going to go to work on that. So I grab my my bandsaw and cut the ends of this uh, basically to match the the side view drawing and then I've, I've laid my trailer over this top view and I'm just kind of organizing where this is going to go. The, the brackets are going to fit inside of this and so I've got to get these aligned and some holes drilled and bolted onto this top deck. It's going to make it stiffer and it's going to give me these side pieces I can work the gooseneck on. So I will line those up and drill some holes and mount them. Well, I, I cut these pieces out. You can see the how the end sticks out past the deck plate. It has the two holes for the beams that come uh, really stiffened it up a lot. It's super strong now. I'm sure it will carry a lot of weight. Also, um, these go back to the correct length 
but they're not the correct height all the way along all surface was layer. You can also see how they stick out a little bit past this deck. This deck's really not wide enough um, because it was the limitations of the piece of metal that I had, but I will uh, widen that up when I put the decking on. So now, pull this here, lay this on top. Everything lines up nicely. You can see what I mean about the decking being wider back here. So now I've got to make these side pieces here and these arms here and get my, my scissor mechanism done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out of a piece of this. This is really nice aluminum. It's thick, it's strong. I'm going to cut these side pieces out of a piece of this and then I'll cut these out of the remaining pieces and uh, get those cut out and we'll see what they look like. My bandsaw is getting a workout. So I, I took and cut some aluminum brackets out of these side pieces. And they, uh, they match this piece right here. And the model, you can see that the bottom of this is flat. So I cut a flat piece of aluminum. And these brackets will mount on it like this. And it sticks out a little bit past the bracket because there's a there's a lip right here. So these will mount like this, and that should line up with the trailer. And I will drill and bolt these on, and then I can. This will be my my gooseneck that'll that'll have arms here, and then it'll pivot up. Uh, Hoping everything works. I'm going to go ahead and drill this and bolt these on and then I'll get to the business of making the side brackets and see if I can duplicate this action here. I bolted uh, these pieces together and they're going to fit like that. So now I have to make these pieces right here. I've still got some of that thick nice aluminum so I'm going to cut the pieces out of that. And they have a, a decking that mounts across the top of them. So I will cut that out of this remaining piece of aluminum I have here. And that should make them quite strong. And the bottom pieces I will probably cut out of this aluminum that came with the trailer. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these pieces out and then we'll get them lined up and drill them and see if I can get this thing all together. It's so far going together pretty good. Well, this trailer is getting longer and longer. Uh, so that's how this goes up and down. And now I've got these pieces, which I need to mount in here and it'll give me my scissor. So I'll do some drilling and get those put in. Now notice I've left all the corners sharp, none of the edges are polished off. Um, I'm doing that because really I'm just kind of test fitting everything together here. Uh, once I get everything fit working, then I'll take these pieces, clean them up, round the corners, polish the edges, and uh, eventually paint them. But yeah, I think that's gonna I think that's gonna do the trick and I have to figure out where I mount my, my pintle for the trailer. So, okay, I'll drill these and see how they work. <clears throat> so I drilled the holes in these brackets. You can see I did a little bit of work on this one. The hinge point here, I had to have it relieved so it would not hit the bracketing underneath. And then this should just go in here, same on the other side, and we should get our, our action. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these two brackets on with some washers, and then I'll come back and we'll see if it works. Okay, I got the bolts in, and you can see that works very nicely. I am absolutely thrilled. I had no idea how I was going to do this, and uh, darn it, that doesn't work really nice. 
Now it goes a little too high. I uh, checked the angles with my drawing here, so I'm going to have to put a some kind of a stop in here to uh, to stop it. But that'll be easy. I'll I'll just put a bolt down in here on each side so the bottom bracket hits it and stops it in the right place. And down, of course, doesn't matter because even even if the trailer is sitting up on a on something, this ramp will still go down flat. So uh, that is working really nice. The next steps will be to cut the plate for here, and then uh, get a pencil mounted so I can hook it to my hammock. And I'm going to see how that works right now. I've got a Tamiya coupler plate here, and I mounted the pintel in it, mainly to see if it works. It does. Works fine. So I'm going to use the standard Tamiya plate that came with the trailer. And because the pintel is so close to the front, I'm going to have to trim this plate off a little bit, and then I'll mount it to the bottom of my aluminum plate there, give it a little extra strength. So that will work just fine. I took the Tamiya coupler plate, <clears throat> mounted it on. Now I'm going to drill, like I mentioned, some holes for some stop bolts to stop this in the correct place. And I found this, uh, this piece that was in the trailer kit, and I'm going to use that to create this piece of decking that goes right here. And that's this piece. It'll be covered with diamond plate later, and I've got some aluminum diamond plate I showed earlier. So uh, I'm going to drill that and drill those with those put together. Okay, I drilled a, a stop bolt down inside, which now stops in the proper place. I bolted this piece of decking on. So this uh, goes up nice and solid. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm going to put the wheels and tires on and then see how it looks behind the Hemet vehicle. Okay. Um, okay, here's the complete trailer. You can see it looks really good with the tires and wheels on it. I'm having a problem getting the entire thing in my camera because it's so big. And uh, we'll latch it onto the Hemet here. I don't know how good that shows, but it is uh, awesome looking with the, let's see if I can get a little bit better angle here. It just looks amazing. And it's huge. It's over five and a half feet long. Um, really pleased with how everything's turning out. I can pull that off. That lays down. There's actually going to be a couple of feet that go underneath here as part of the trailer. So our loading is here. That goes up like that. Latches onto the truck. Everything works really good. Okay, well that uh, that ends part four. Um, Stay tuned. Uh, the next part, I'm going to do some of the decking and detailing up around the front here, and then I'll be working on the decking and detailing on the back. Um, probably, uh, like I said, this one's going to have a lot of parts. Probably be another um, few weeks at least to get it done, but uh, very pleased with how it's working out. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, appreciate all your comments. If you want to see the end of this, please subscribe. I've also got a new Tamiya dump truck build coming up that'll uh, be starting pretty soon. So thanks again for watching.